Hey, you're home. Dinner's on if you want it. Is everything okay? Did the whole going out of business sale thing at the studio go well? Yeah. Yeah, it went really well, actually. I've saved up almost enough for this month's rent. So, that's something. That's great. So, what's the matter? Emily? Josie, please. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. It's just the art studio, which I have fought for so long to keep alive, is going out of business. I'm really stressed out, and all I want to do is eat a little dinner in peace without worrying about where I'm going to go from here. If I had just got on that stupid scholarship, I wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. I'm sorry. Just remember that none of this is your fault. That is true. If it weren't for that arrogant little jerk, I'm sure I'd be a lot better off. It's okay. I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. Why don't we do something to cheer you up? Do you want to watch a movie? Listen to music? Have an improv dance party? Or go to bed early? Last option sounds great, but you can turn on a movie or something if you want. Okay. How does love and general romance sound? Sure, that's fine. No, nothing, no return address. But... Emily, that's a lot of money. I know, and this this isn't just a lot of money. With this kind of cash, I might not have to close down the studio just yet. Evan? Tuesday? Look, I wasn't expecting to see you here. But... I wasn't expecting to see you here either. May I join you? Yeah. So, it's, uh, it's been a while. Yeah, since, what, senior year? Senior year. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, I have a job now. Oh, really? I college went well, I take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got my master's in business. So. Well, I am glad to hear that, Evan. Sorry. Hello? Hi, Mr. Churchill. Yes, sir, I'm aware of the leak in the ceiling. No, I haven't had anybody take a look at it yet. I was gonna try to fix it myself, but... but no, no, I didn't, I didn't break... Okay. Yes, sir. I'll I'll have it checked out. Okay. Sorry, that was landlord from my studio. 
Still going by Emily, huh? Mm hmm Yep. I, uh, I don't think that's ever going to change. Oh, well, I'll always know you as Tuesday. That's, that's not going to change it. Look, Evan, not to sound rude, but what exactly are you doing here? I mean, I had no idea you were even in town. It's just travel. I mean, you know how it is. Just in and out. Hmm. I don't know how it is, actually. <laughs> I wish I did. That would really be something. Having gone to college, getting a master's degree in business, a job where you could travel. Okay, that's. I actually have to go. I gotta drop these off, so. Fine. Nice. Good catch up. It was nice seeing you again. What, what? What's the matter? Nothing. It's, uh, I just uh, have a quick question. Yeah? What's up? Um, you wouldn't know anything about me receiving cash in the mail and envelopes addressed to Tuesday? No. Really? Yeah. Are, are you sure? Hmm? Evan? been a terrible liar. Okay. You got me, but What the heck, Evan? Just What why? Why would you why would you do that? Where have you been for the past 4 years? What is going on? Okay, just settle down with the questions. I think I have a right to know everything. And I'd love to tell you everything, but I've really got to get my boss's coffee. So, so I got to go. All right, well, I'll see you later. Wait, wait, you still have some explaining to do. Listen, you know that it's me. You figured out that much. The rest, honestly, doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm just glad I can make a difference. Wait. Getting, I'm proud, and it's about time. What is that? Okay, never mind. The thing is, I've I've known her for a long time. Well, like, how long is a long time? Well, basically my whole life. I mean, we used to spend all our time together. We were best friends. And like, what's wrong now? Um. Well, it's complicated. But short answer is. There was a full ride scholarship for a certain college, and um, we were both eligible for it. And but in the end, it just turned out that only one of us could have it. And I guess I thought I was more qualified, so I took it for myself. So what? That was it? Yeah, I just took it for myself. Honestly, it kind of sounds like you screwed her over. Yeah, it does. Kinda does, but I've been trying to help her out. How so? 
Well, a few months ago I passed by her studio. She's an artist and she's trying to keep her business afloat, just like practically all by herself. And I saw on her door a going out of business sign, so I've been helping her out financially and anonymously. Well, I mean, that explains where all your money's been going, but seriously, dude, I mean, you couldn't even pay for last month's rent. I know, and I'm sorry. I it, you gotta understand, this is absolutely necessary. She, she needs the money. Well, you're just lucky that you have me to cover for you. I know, I am, and that's... Thank you, I appreciate it. I mean, so, what, are you, when are you gonna tell her that you're the anonymous donor? Well, actually, earlier today I saw her at the cafe, and she was able to put two and two together. Mm. I mean, did you explain everything to her? Did you share your remorse for treating her terribly and being a terrible person? Well, no. I did admit that I was the one who's been helping her out, but that's that's about it. I didn't say much else. Mm -hmm. And if I were you, honestly, I'd just tell her how you feel. Like, you know, say that you're sorry and everything. Ask for forgiveness. And, you know, maybe if you tell her that you still care about her, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Thanks. Yeah, anytime. Hey, uh, what's your name? Tuesday. Art is so incredibly complex. You can't really define it. Though some will make the argument that art is objective, others will say that the definition varies between people. I say that art is defined by the way it makes you feel. So the question I want you students to ponder before next week's lesson is this. How would you define art? And in what way does art speak to your soul? Yes. Your roof is leaking. I know. But you should get that fixed. Because that's not good. Yes, I know. I'll, I'll get it fixed soon. Don't worry. How soon? I don't know. Soon. <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. I think it's all the dust in here. It's super dusty. Oh goodness. Like, look at that. Okay. Any more questions about today's lesson? Class dismissed.
Uh, do you need help with anything else while I'm here? No. Why? Uh, it just kind of looks like things are in a little bit of disarray is all. Disarray? No. I have it all under control here. Thanks. But I appreciate the concern. Okay, let's start with that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. What happened? It, it just, it slipped. It's a little scratch, it slipped. Can I see? Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh. Oh my, yeah, we need to get that cleaned and bandaged so it doesn't get infected. Okay. I actually uh, don't think I have a first aid kit here. Uh, okay, I have one back at my apartment. Okay, actually. do you want me to drive you there? Yeah, you need that to? would be great, actually. Yeah. Okay, okay. Listen, dude, I'm getting sick and tired of having to pick up all your crap. I mean, we First can keep doing like... I'm, I'm bleeding kind of a lot. You know where it is? You must be Tuesday. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's great meeting you, too. Oh, Alex. Hey, bleeding. Oh, right, oh. sorry. Wait, yeah, let me grab some. So, how long have you been living here? Um, just a few months now. Oh. Where were you living before? I lived at the Watson. The Watson? Isn't that that building on 4th Avenue downtown? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. That place is, like, high-end. I guess. Evan? Yeah? You had a great place. You had money, and now, no offense, you clearly don't anymore. What happened? Look, I made mistakes, big ones, and I hurt somebody that I cared about a lot, and still do, and it was necessary to make sacrifices to make things right. Do you want to go get a coffee? I'd love to. Well... Well... Where to start? Let's start with the how. How did you know I was in trouble? Well, that's one question with an easy answer, actually. Um, one day a few months ago, I took a different route because there was traffic on the highway, and I saw your um, going out of business sale sign on your studio door. Okay. So, I guess my next question is, why? You had an amazing life, uh, a great apartment, a car. Now you're living in that place. Why would you give all that up? You do realize the kind of sacrifice you're making. I know. I know. My life was going just great. 
I mean, not to brag, but I was successful, I was well off, liked by everyone, I mean, mostly everyone. Um, but the simple coincidence of passing by your art studio just reminded me of how unfair I was to you. Tuesday, the success that I had, I should have been yours. I should have been yours. And I was arrogant and stupid, and I took all of that away from you, and I'm I'm so, so sorry. So I've been doing anything and everything I can to make things right. And I know you might not want to right now, but I hope that someday you could forgive me. Tuesday, I really, really do care about you. And I have for a long time, and it kills me to know that I'm the one who caused you so much pain. And the sacrifice I'm making, I mean, it means it's, it's nothing at all if it helps you in any way. That's the only reason I'm doing this. But it'd be a wonderful added bonus if I get to have you in my life again. Evan, you were a jerk to me. You left me in the dust when I thought we would always be close. But the amount of sacrifice you've shown, you've given up your money, your success, you've given that to me. I'm just returning what's rightfully yours. But you really had it all, and now you have nothing. You didn't have to do this, but you did for the sake of reconciliation. Of course I forgive you. All right. Well, I think you're all set. It looks amazing. It really does. Couldn't have done it without you. I can fix it.